Okay, how do you hook up brewing system hoses? We've shown this as a part of a lot of videos, but we've never made a dedicated video on the topic until now. We provide 13 feet of hose with our brewing system and suggest that you cut it into a six foot, four foot, and three foot length. We provide five quick disconnects. That means your three foot length of hose will only have one quick disconnect on it. So your hoses may not match ours exactly depending on how you cut it. And you can always buy more hose and more fittings on our website. So, you know, there's that as well. Um, but that said, the first setup you'll need is for mashing. And to set this up, connect the end of a hose to the kettle output and connect the other end to the end of the pump. Connect another hose to the side of the pump and the other end of that to the lid of the kettle. Pretty simple, however, pro tip, you will want to prime the pump before making the connection to the lid. To do this, you'll open the ball valves and turn the pump on to run some liquid through everything. Once you have good flow, turn everything off, make the connection to the lid, then turn it back on to circulate. All right, to engage chill mode, what you will do is connect an end of a hose to the kettle out, connect the other end of that to the end of the pump, connect the end of another hose to the side of the pump, connect the end of that to wart in on the chiller, finally connect the end of the three foot hose with the quick disconnect to wart out on the chiller, then put the end with no fitting on it in the kettle. You'll need to hook some hoses up to the chiller as well. Run a hose between a hose bib and the cooling water in on the chiller. And then you want to connect a drain hose from cooling water out on the chiller to wherever you plan on draining your water. For, for whirlpooling, you'll need a whirlpool arm, obviously, and you'll need an extra quick disconnect fitting for the other end of the three foot hose. So this setup is exactly the same as it is for chilling really or for mashing. You can do it either way. Um, what you want to do though is just run the terminal end, I guess you would say, of the whatever hose configuration you have to the whirlpool arm in the kettle. All right, so here are some more pro tips. Um, like I said, if you want longer hoses or more quick disconnect fittings, just buy them on our website, climbersupply.com. Um, two, I recommend cleaning the hoses with PBW after every brew day. So just fill the kettle with PBW, heat it up, and then circulate it through everything uh, for an hour. I'll link a video on this below. Three, it is a good idea to replace your hoses every now and again. And if your quick disconnects ever get sticky, uh, um, they just don't want to open and close or make connections. It's probably because they've um, sat in PBW too long or weren't rinsed immediately. This happens often. And the easiest way to fix this is just to hit the little ball bearings with a little uh, bit of food grade lubrication. I will put a link to that in the description as well. All right, thanks for watching. That's it. See ya.